On today's Bizarre Bible Bite, we are going to look at a very bizarre punishment. But let me warn you, it's spicy. Have you ever been punished for doing something bad? Time out? Grounded? iPhone taken away? <laughs> That's kid stuff. Have you ever been turned into a pillar of salt? Okay, for this bite, we have to go all the way back to Abraham. Abraham had a nephew named Lot. Now, Lot lived in a city with his wife, a very bad city. Very bad. Now, uh, how bad was it? It was so bad, God decided he had to destroy it. Now, Abraham stepped in for Lot's city. He even convinced God to hold off on destroying the city if they could find 10 good people. And they couldn't even find that. 10, count them, 10 good people. Now two angels came down and warned Lot to take his kids and his wife and vamoose from the city before it went kablooey. And they only had one rule. Do not look back at the city once you get out. So Lot took his wife and his kidlets and ran from the city. And God rained fire and brimstone down on the town. Kabloo! Gone. But that's not even the bizarre part. You see, Lot's wife couldn't help herself. And despite the angel's warning, she turned and looked back at the city. And God <laughs> turned her into a pillar of salt. A statue, a column of salt, sodium chloride, potato chip seasoning. Now that's a timeout for all existence, unless a cow came along. You know how cows always lick those little salt licks? Have you ever been licked by a cat? Okay, now imagine that you're this big giant salt lick surrounded by cows. Oh. Gross. Let's be clear. Lot's wife didn't just glance back like a curiosity looky-loo. The language implies that she considered going back, longing for the old ways, for the life back in the evil city. Uh, Nuh-uh, lady, you've gotta decide. Life with God or death without him. And all those people in between, just a big field of salt licks. Jesus even talks about this. He says, remember what happened to Lot's wife. If you cling to your life, you'll lose it. And if you let your life go, you'll save it. That's today's bit of biblical weirdness. Now, until next time, remember, his word is forever alive. Is it just me or did today's bite make you really hungry for potato chips? Now, like us and subscribe for more Superbook shows or find us on Facebook and superbook.cbn.com. Now, it is off to find some potato chips or pretzels. Ooh, popcorn!